Hey guys, I'm going to be honest, I am not enjoying how this video is turning out, so I'm going to give it one last shot, however it turns out in this video, is how you guys are going to see it. So, what's up? Welcome back for another 4K video. This time I have Nick Cage's newest movie to show you guys, and that's The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. I did not get a chance to see this in theaters. Well, it's not even that I didn't get a chance to see it in theaters, it's just whenever I went to the theaters, there was something that I wanted to see more than I wanted to see this movie. But it did look cute. The previews made it look like Nick Cage is kind of poking fun at himself. I always enjoy when actors can do that. Not take themselves too serious. Uh, and then it became av available on digital. And I just didn't want to just buy the digital for this one. Um, if I was going to get it, I was going to go ahead and get a Blu-ray or 4K. And then get the digital with that. Um, so... Put off getting it. It came out on physical. I didn't have the money to get it, or there was other stuff that I was getting, um, so I put it off. And then I'm, tonight, I saw it at Walmart, and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and grab it before it disappears, and then I gotta try to track it down online. Um, so here we are. I think there were a couple of different uh, special editions for this. I know Walmart had one that came with a T-shirt that wasn't gonna fit my fat ass, and it was only a Blu-ray, so I did not get that. Um, Target had an exclusive, but I cannot remember what they had. And I'm sure Steelbook Best Buy, I mean Best Buy, probably had a Steelbook of it. Um, so, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong on that one. But, so there were some exclusives out there. If you're interested in getting an exclusive, I know that the Walmart one is still available. And I'm sure you can find the Target one on line and maybe a steelbook on Best Buy's website. Um, so here's a look at the back. It is rated R. Um, I've used the digital code. So if you're going to ask me for the digital code, my answer is no. Yeah, and I also said in my Doctor Strange in the Multiverse, Multiverse of Madness video that when I do have a digital code, I tend to give those to my friends and specifically my friend David Ball who works with me because he's one of my best friends um, and when the dudes had a chance to shit on me like not literally but like just talk shit about me he never has um, so of course I'm gonna repay that kindness so, and also he has given me digital codes as well to movies I didn't have so uh, if I have codes to give away, I tend to give them to him. Um, like I said, it is rated R. It's out from Lionsgate, and it is 107 minutes long. Looking forward to watching it tonight. Um, just saw from the back artwork that there's an actor that I didn't know that was in here. Uh, in the movie. So, let's go ahead and open it up here. On the inside, you get a 4K that's yellow and a Blu-ray that's blue. Um, special features, let's see here. You get deleted scenes, the mind, glimmers of the bygone cage. Uh, everybody needs a jobby. Nick, Nicky, and Sergio. Uh, second act action, cages... Uh, five and up, and SXSW Film Festival Q and A, and an audio commentary. So this is probably a movie that I will watch all the special features eventually, um, just because I think Nick Cage is a good actor. He doesn't always get good roles, but he's a good actor, um, and so I'm interested to kind of uh, see inside the mind of madness. Um, but anyways, guys, that's the end of my video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Uh, also, let me know if you picked up The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent starring Nick Cage. And what version you got or what you thought of it. And, uh, I don't know. I really want to say something else in this video, but I'm not going to stoop to that level. I'm, I'm irritated about something else. And it's kind of... Uh, showing in my videos a little bit. Uh, but anyways guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all later. Bye.